true individual freedom cannot exist without economic security and independence. People who are hungry, people who are out of a job, are the stuff of which dictatorships are made. Over 16 million Americans served in the military during World War II. Most had been civilians in 1941. They included people of all races and ethnic backgrounds. And with Roosevelt's support, 350,000 women who served as nurses and in special service branches throughout the military. The President and Mrs. Roosevelt felt a strong connection to these young people, whose ranks included their own four sons. They often visited their training camps and made time to meet with them during overseas trips. FDR believed America owed a special debt to this generation. With his strong support, Congress passed the GI Bill of Rights in 1944. It provided millions of veterans with generous educational and medical benefits and low-interest loans for their homes, small businesses, and farms. Between 1944 and 1952, the Veterans Administration backed almost 2.4 million home loans to returning veterans. By 1956, 7.8 million veterans had attended college or received job training under the GI Bill. Among those helped by the 1944 GI Bill were many people who became famous and made significant contributions to America in the post-war period. This list includes political figures such as Presidents Gerald Ford and George H.W. Bush, Supreme Court Justices William Rehnquist, John Paul Stevens, and Byron White, U.S. Senators Bob Dole, John Glenn, George Mitchell, and Daniel Patrick Moynihan, and U.S. Representatives Alan Simpson and Charles Rangel. This list also includes legendary entertainers such as Harry Belafonte, Johnny Cash, Clint Eastwood, Paul Newman, Johnny Carson, Gene Hackman, and Walter Matthau. In addition to this list of notables, millions of other young men and women, many of whom had never considered going to college, were able to do so. The result was the largest population of educated workers to ever enter the American labor force. And they entered just as the economy was transitioning from farming and manufacturing to technology and information. The GI Bill was approved just weeks after D-Day and carried with it a simple promise to all who had served. You pick the school, we'll help pick up the bill. <laughs>